as you can see, the energy is really alive and well here as we at the exhibition center of the Tony University of Technology, of course, where the National Science Week 2025 is being launched. And we really have been taking a look at some of the exhibitors, you know, showcasing what science, technology, engineering, mathematics, innovation has in store for us. Of course, we, we spoke to various stakeholders across the value chain, um, looking at their inputs, looking at ways against uh, mitigating with, against some of those challenges, but also celebrating the feats and the wins and uh, looking at some of the innovative ideas, of course, as we continue to, to look at what South Africa has to offer. So um, we're now joined by the Minister of Education, Science and Innovation, Dr. Uh, Bladen Zuma, Professor Bladen Zumande, and he's also joined by Pretoria Technical High School learners. They're also um, going to be doing the walkabout with him. And so I'm going to bring him to the conversation and perhaps get a little bit more on what we can expect as um, this is launched um, today. Good morning, Prof, or Minister, I should say. Thank you for your time. We saw you interacting with the different exhibitors. Um, I mean, just behind us, you can see robotics taking center stage. The launch of National Science Week here at Tony University of Technology. Tell us about the significance, particularly when we're looking at advancing inclusivity and transformation for our nation at large. Look, the National Science Week, well, thank you very much. Let me Please. greet your, your viewers and, and listeners. By the way, I'm now Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation. That's yes. all. Okay. So, National Science Week is very important because it's a platform that we use to tell the story of science in our country. That's one. That's why also our theme this year is Science for Everyone. Because we believe that unless society understands the role of science, we are not going to make progress. And also embrace science, what it is about and so on. But we use this for educational purposes as well. That's why, in the main, we are targeting school learners, you know, to come and see for themselves all these, uh, what we are seeing here, the demonstrations and all that, so that we, we get them to be curious, you know. So you can't have science without curiosity. That's why we thank the TUT, you know, the university, for allowing us to actually hold the, the launch of the Science Week. Uh, this week. We are intending as from next year to make it a science month because we realize that a week is not enough. We need to actually be able to focus the attention of the country. This is also in line with our mantra which is placing science, technology and innovation at the center of government, at the center of education, at the center of industry and at the center of society as a whole. So this is usually the highlight of our year by actually having this, uh, launching and having this science work. These are my special ones, you know. They may tell you actually because they are finalists in a debate that they started last day. I'd asked them to write something. They decided they're going to launch it as a debate and actually compete. You know? And they're amazing. You know, you'll get, you'll actually, they are grade 10 and 11. They will be able to actually tell you more. And this is what we want. We also want other learners in the country to actually see them and, and what they are actually doing. So it's a very important week for us to try and continue to place science at the center of society. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, we're also seeing how it infiltrates in all sectors um, and also adds to um, our economy, our contribution at large um, from a competitiveness point of view. Can you tell us a little bit more about that com um, contribution as well, just before I rope the learners in? Yes. Look, no country now will be able to develop unless it embraces science, technology and innovation. And what does embracing it mean? Part of what we are doing is that, but also we have to invest. And which means then we need partnership. You need government, you need industry, you need academia to actually be part of this. Of course, we don't have enough money in the fiscals, but we are trying by all means also to be creative by forging domestic partnerships with industry, international partnerships with other science bodies and entities, and also then <coughs> to encourage people to come forward with ideas and innovations. That's why we even have what we call 
a grassroots innovation program. Because innovation, yes, comes from the higher end, your universities, your highly educated scientists and so on, but also there's innovation at grassroots level, you know, which we, need, we also do need to harness. People with lots of ideas that can be turned into something that is helpful. New industries are born out of science and technology, you know, new methods. Now, the, the Deputy Vice Chancellor was telling me now that only a week ago we gave them what we call the research chair on artificial intelligence. Because that's the future now, that's where things are going to be going. And it's very good that an investor of technology like this has got this chair because we want more research. And most importantly also we want practical application of artificial intelligence. Absolutely, and I think roles, role models and representation is also important, right? To see um, who can represent us. And are you encouraged by what's emerged in our country given the skills and talent as well? What more can we also be um, achieve on that front to ensure that there's better role models and representation? Look, you know what keeps me going in this portfolio? Is that we're a very talented nation, you know? And if we can, one can play a role to mobilize, you know, and create an environment for that talent. It's, it's at, at all sorts of levels, by the way, from Ama Piano, which is a South African innovation that is worldwide, to the performance of the Springboks, you know, in sports and other things, and Banyana Banyana, to science. You know, all that is part of South African talent that we need to cultivate. Here in the scientific space in particular, our role is to provide an environment. We need to create what one can call an ecosystem that brings together all the role players. We also have awards, by the way. Just uh, two days ago, two nights ago, I had awards by the National Science and Technology Forum where we are recognizing our top scientists. We also want to expand those to also recognize companies that are making good investments, you know, into, into science. Of course, our biggest investment yes. is this. And, and this is our, unless we get these ones interested in science as early as possible, okay. we, can, we can't get it right. Okay, so yeah. you've heard the minister and you guys are obviously representing. Let me step out of shots I can bring you in. You, you're here, you want a debate challenge and you're obviously here to represent and, and show us what the future looks like. Perhaps you guys can tell us a little bit more um, about the initiatives that you, you're undergoing here today. Let me start with you. What is your name and tell us a little bit more. Um, my name is Tonella Mamabula. I am from Pretoria Technical High School. And um, AI, or whatever we're going to be debating today, um, I think it is really the future for South Africa. Um, and we just need a little bit more work and work hard and get more students as interested in science as early as possible so we can make this nation as great as it already is. Thank you. Wow, thank you. There we heard it from one of our future learners, or future leaders rather. Let me bring you into the conversation. What is your name? What are you expecting? What's been the most exciting part about today as you arrived? My name is Bukam Um This Today is, I woke up very early. <laughs> um, I've, so, I've seen a lot of interesting technology, like the AI dog behind us. And it shows that the world is developing and South Africa needs to catch up. And we are going to catch up because we have a lot of talent that we can use that is just not being utilized. Yes. Okay, so we're going to trans that um, potential energy to kinetic energy. Look at me, I pass science. I'm going to bring you guys also into the conversation. Um, tell us your name and, and what, what, what are you doing here today? What's the most exciting thing about the debate that's taking place? Um, my name is Malvunga Matlaila, and I'd honestly like to say that some of the things that I'm seeing today is stuff I only saw as a kid on television, on movies, when we saw robot dogs, but seeing them in real life is actually showing me that as humans we can do anything, and I hope this debate today will enrich anyone who doesn't really have quite a picture of it, and we can even show people that as South Africa, it's not only America who can go through this, also South Africans can, you know, we have, we have big minds, we're smart, and we can do anything. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you for reminding us of our agency and how we need to assert ourselves. You're the last one. What is your name and what, um, what are you looking forward to the most here at the exhibition? Um, my name is Florinolo Malachi and I'm part of the Pretoria High School crew. 
And what I'm looking for in this exhibition is seeing how um, our country has like brilliant young minds developing and um, seeing that South Africa is going to be um, going on a new global um, of process of innovation. And I'm just happy to see that we are finally progressing as a country and that um, we will get there eventually. Okay, all right. Thank you to all of you, Minister. Thank you as well for joining us. There you have it. We heard some of the innovative ideas. We heard some of the comments coming through um, from the learners in attendance here and obviously from our Minister of Science and Innovation. Um, just to shout out to us about some of the exhibitors as well that we, we saw. We, got, we have Dexter. Dexter's a robot dog and, and he's literally behind us. We hope you're going to catch up with him. We've also got technology um, with regards to engineering, of course. We'll be looking at um, how agriculture is going to be using drone agri uh, grow, drone spray technology and that's also targeted to ensure that agriculture um, you know also um, is efficient and, and works fast as an economy and so there's lots in store the future is looking bright but the future is also now and that um, National Science Week obviously happening here at um, the Tony University of Technology Exhibition Center join us as we continue to with more walkabouts I'm going to hand it back to you in, in studio for now